All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and make a program that displays a window and draws something simple to that window. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and make a project. File, new project, empty project, and we'll call this Drawing Fun. It is an empty project. I'm going to need some files for this. The first file I'm going to need is main. Main file. Now I'm going to go through this pretty quick because I have 15 minutes to roughly get it all done. So we're going to try to get this video going. Public class main file curly brace curly brace public static void main parenthesis parenthesis string bracket bracket args so we've already went through the slide set and I've went over the commands although it's not going to make a whole lot of sense to have done stuff so let's go ahead and do some stuff creates the frame so new my frame um, Ooh, let's do fun frame. Fun frame, and let's give it a name, and the name is going to be fun frame. Now, I can't actually make a fun frame yet because I haven't defined what a fun frame is. So, we're going to go ahead and make a new file. So, next, this file is going to have to be called fun frame. Alright, public class fun frame. Curly brace, curly brace, uh, public fun frame, and it wants to receive a title. String title. Alright, fun frame is a J frame, so it extends J frame. And we import java.awt.star. That'll get us JFrame and a lot of the stuff that we need. Or, sorry, that'll get us a lot of the drawing stuff. So import java dot, uh, java x dot swing dot star. This is what actually gets us JFrame. So the first thing we're going to do is create the frame with the given title and how we do that is we call our parent class constructor which is super and we send it the name of our frame which is title. The next thing that we had in our video I'm going through the order that we had them in our slides at least I believe so is we're going to set X button to close program and that is set default close operation and that was j frame dot exit on close next thing we want to make it so that it can't resize our window uh, sets the user to not be able to resize the frame and that's going to be set resizable false and then we want to create the window in the background creates the frame notice it's still hidden at this point hidden at this point and that's going to be pack next we need to create our panel so creates the panel and we're going to say fun panel fun panel p equals new fun panel and we don't need to send it much, I believe. We're just going to say make a new fun file. What new fun panel? And then what we're going to do is get insets. The reason we packed earlier is because we plan on getting the insets. And the get insets command doesn't quite work until you've already uh, packed. So insets 
inset or inset insets equals git insets. You're asking the frame for its border measurements. So then when we want to figure out our width, our width is going to be width equals p dot git width plus insets dot left plus insets dot right. And I don't believe it's in all caps, it's actually a public variable. Int height <coughs> equals p dot get height, the height of our window or our panel, plus the insets dot top plus insets dot bottom, not bootum. All right, that's all of our calculations. So we'll put this under calculating window size. Now we need to set the preferred size. What we're going to do with that is set preferred size, and that has to receive a dimension new dimension and what it's going to receive is width comma height then we will turn off layout options I'm putting comments so you know what everything is and I know I'm going through this way too fast to keep up that's why videos can be paused but it's good for you to have an example that has all the notes about what these commands are actually doing. Because you may just, a lot of people are just going to copy and paste these commands every time they write a program. But it's good to know what these commands actually do. So these these comments are really important. Because in CompSci2, we're going to deviate from just doing these exact commands some. And, you know, we need to, in CompSci2, we really need to understand what all these commands do. So now we're going to add the panel to the window. This will center it because the layout options are null. And then we're going to pack to readjust to be the size that we calculated, the width. So we're going to adjust to be our set preferred size. So adjusts to be the size we set with set preferred size. Alright, and now what we can finally do is show the screen. And our code's not going to work at this point because we have not written our panel class yet. So set visible true. And I'm not really compiling yet, so I may have to tweak some stuff because I can't compile because it doesn't know what a fun panel is. So we're going to create a fun panel now. Fun panel. So we're just going to create a very basic fun panel. We're going to do the same imports we did last time, java.awt.star, everything in the awt folder, and import java.x.swing.star, and public fun panel extends j panel curly braces, whoa, wrong curly brace, we're going to have a constructor, public fun panel, and let's just go ahead and set the size of this, set size, I think 300 comma 300 sounds good to me, and sets the size of the panel, Panel. And now we're going to. Oh, I missed something very important. I'm extending J panel, so I want to uh, create the panel properly. I have no idea how to do that because I didn't write the panel class. So I'm just going to say super. Do whatever normal. Do whatever you would normally do as part of the creation of a panel. Then set the size. 
The next thing we want to do is we want to override the paint method to change how a panel draws itself. Public void paint and it has a graphics object, graphics G. And we're just going to do something simple. Maybe a black box with an X in it. Draws a black box with an X in it. Just so you can see the graphics commands being used. G dot set color. So we're going to say, from now on, everything we we're going to do is in the following color. G color dot black. Everything we're about to do is in black. G dot fill rect. We want to draw a rectangle that's filled in. We're going to draw it from 0, 0, the top left hand corner. And we want to draw it as wide as the screen, or as wide as our panel, get width. And as tall as our panel, get height. That should draw a big black box on the screen. Now we got to draw the X. Before we draw the X, let's go ahead and set the color again, because I don't want to draw a black X on a black box. You wouldn't see it. So color red. And now we're going to proceed to draw a line. G dot draw line from, let's just be lazy, control C, from 0, 0 to the width and the height. So the top left-hand corner to the bottom right-hand corner. Now we need to draw one from the top right to the bottom left. So we have to think about what that one means. Draw a line. I want to be all the way over at the beginning. Get width and zero down. So that's the top right-hand corner. The bottom right-hand corner would be zero over, but all the way down. All right. So I've done everything I want to do. We still have three minutes left. Let's go ahead and press compile. We're getting some errors. So let's start with just this file. Public, I left off the word class in fun panel. Public class fun panel. Oh, and now it's happy. So fun panel's good. Let's see if frame's good. Frame's good. Let's see if main's good. Main's good. So now if I run it, I get this beautiful window. The black area is 300 by 300. There's an X in it. And then surrounding that 300 by 300 area, we have a frame. But the reason we had to do all that inset stuff is, is because based on what theme we're running, we have no idea how tall the frame's going to be or how wide this little like wiry border is going to be. So that's why we had to do all the inset stuff. So the frame is big enough to hold all those framing things and the panel that it contains. All right, that's it for our example. In this unit, we're going to be doing lots of drawing.